Hey guys, what's happening? Lex here coming to you today with a new video. Today we're just going to talk about some balance updates that are changing and that's right, the Executioner is getting a nerf. We kind of all saw it coming because let's face it, the Executioner was just way too strong. Now, we're going to talk about the individual changes that are coming here. Let's put, let's put on some um, some stuff in the background here. Let's turn make sure we got our music on. Let's uh, put some Put some of my battles here in the background while we talk about these balance changes real quick. I am going to be coming out with another video today, uh, actually highlighting a Executioner deck. So get it while it's hot, or at least while it's still not nerfed to the ground, which would be a few more days. Uh, let's watch this first video, and let's talk about some of the changes that are coming, okay? All right, first of all, from Supercell's website here, the Executioner damage. So here's the big Executioner nerf. Damage is being reduced by 6%. Range is being reduced to four and a half from five and its axe hit radius is being reduced by 10 percent that's three significant nerfs all clumped into one was it too much i i don't know um let's see what i mean supercell says this executioner's power level is clearly too high for a troop that does it all however this is partly due to a few bugs which the bugs you know we're talking about this stunning effect um, that we're fixing in the next update. So we're taking into account these changes. Reducing his damage, range, and the amount of stuff his axe hits at once should rein him in. So we're going to see how that plays out. Now, of course, the Executioner is one of my favorite cards, one of everybody's favorite cards right now, and that is because, as they say, he does it all. Hits air, hits ground, splash, coupled with the tornado, is just a, a deadly, deadly play. So... A, a, a nerf was needed. Is this enough? Is it too much? I don't know. You guys tell me what you think, but that's a it's a pretty significant nerf. Um, coming down to the next uh, topic here is the poison. Now, poison has been since the slow was removed. It has been a very little used card. It, it's really not done very well. So, what they're doing? Poison duration is to eight seconds from ten seconds, and its damage per second is up by twenty four percent. Now, what this really means is that the damage that the poison does is still going to be the same. However, it's condensed into 8 seconds instead of 10. What does that change? Well, here's what they say. After this change, poison will be more reliable at getting its damage down. It'll deal more damage with each tick, but roughly the same damage over the duration. Skeletons will pop in one tick, and that's important, instead of two, making it much better against the skeleton army and graveyard, and a viable alternative to fireball again. Here's where I think this is going to be the biggest change, is that graveyard poison will actually counter graveyard now because if you notice now graveyard when you put it down if you were to play your poison on top of it the skeletons the ones especially the ones that spawn close to the tower they can still hit the tower those skeletons are going to be one shot by the tower or whatever support troops they have there anyway so um one shotting the skeletons that they don't one shot with the poison is, is a pretty big deal which makes the poison a pretty pitiful graveyard counter it'll kill the ones that are further away coming in towards the tower but the ones that are right there they're still going to get hits off so uh poison is not a great graveyard counter then it looks like it will be now um so we're going to see how that plays out uh it's going to help against well you know against skeleton armies graveyards uh minions it's just going to do damage quicker so that, that's a positive change. I like that change, uh, even though it hurts my graveyard text personally, but we'll see if people start using it now. Next up is the Witch. Witch damage is increased by 6% just across the board. Witch damage is increased. They say her rate, her use rate is really low in the later arenas and high win challenges, but it's good elsewhere. We're looking to give her a small boost without overpowering, overpowering her in the early game. This change will allow her to one-shot equally leveled skeletons, which is pretty cool because, as you know, the witches set there pitifully attacking skeletons and not killing them with one shot, which is, you know, she's one of the few troops that can't kill a skeleton in one shot, which is pretty pathetic. Um, so I like this. I don't know if this is going to make the witch uh, viable in the higher arenas. As you know, yeah, in the lower arenas, let's get on another match here. Um, in the lower arenas, she's really powerful. Giant Witch combo is like a staple of the you know early arenas up to, say, level uh, 5 or so. And then after that, her usage rate really drops off because there's just better options at that point. So maybe this is going to make it better. Um, maybe not. We'll see. But next up, and this is a big one, I think, is the P.E.K.K.A. 
the P.E.K.K.A.'s deploy time is going to be decreased from 3 seconds down to 1 second. And they say, we're aiming to make P.E.K.K.A. feel more usable and a bit more nimble to play without breaking her identity as a big, burly robot. Okay, now the P.E.K.K.A. is actually seeing a resurge of usage, especially with the Executioner, because a P.E.K.K.A. with an Executioner behind him is just a deadly, deadly combination. Now, it's still a lot of Elixir to play, but if you play it right, it can be a tough one to counter. Um, so... That's going to be interesting to see how that plays out, but I think that's going to make a pretty big, significant change. Uh, we'll see. And I know it's just deploy time. Didn't change her damage or her speed or her swing speed or anything like that, but, you know, the damage itself, or not the damage, but the deploy time itself, being able to get that troop out on the field quicker and into action, I think that's going to be a pretty big thing. Next up, another troop that hasn't been getting a lot of love is the Dark Prince. His hit points have been buffed by 5%. Now, it still does the same damage, we actually have been seeing the Dark Prince here in a few decks, uh, like the Golem uh, Balloon Dark Prince deck. Really powerful. And the Dark Prince is a good uh, troop. It's just there's better alternatives, you know. Uh, the Valkyrie and some other things. The Executioner, just where the Dark Prince just really hasn't found a spot. And here's what they say about the Dark Prince. He's been considered, he has been considered a lower tier card for some time. And that's true. His stats aren't quite there when compared to other four elixir options. More hit points should allow him to charge around the arena with a bit more success. We'll see about that. I'm not sure, um, but you know, it's gonna be it'll be interesting. Dark Prince is I, I want to like the Dark Prince. It's such a cool troop. Uh, although Pekka Double Prince has been seeing a little bit of a resurgence again, so this might even help that out even more. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, yeah, Dark Prince five more five percent more hit points. Baby Dragon, again, another card that... Uh, well, let's just see what they say right here. Baby Dragon is a fun and iconic card that doesn't see a lot of play. A bit more range should make it more appealing. And yeah, that's absolutely true. The Baby Dragon just does not see a lot of love because, let's face it, I mean, he doesn't do hardly any kind of damage. His range is strangely very close. If you've ever watched, you know, how close the Baby Dragon has to get to the tower before it can actually attach, attack, it seems kind of ridiculous. It's a dragon, it's shooting fire, and yet it has to be almost, seems like it's right on top of it. It's a pretty pathetic counter, and look at this sweet graveyard freeze play I just pulled off. Tornado, graveyard tornado freeze that took the tower. Um, pretty sweet play. Um, so, yeah, we'll see if this helps the baby dragon be something that people want to play again. Uh, skeletons, the one elixir skeletons, back up to four. Now, they used to be at four. They dropped them down to three because they thought they provided too much value. And now they're bringing them back up to four. Let's see what they say about the skeletons. They say, since the ice spirit joined the arena, the one elixir slot has become more competitive. So, we're bringing back the fourth skeleton. The change, aka 33% more calcium, will give the skeletons a lot more value as a distraction tool. Ledoot returns. So, Larry Ledoot, he's coming back into the arena. Uh, with the four elixir, or four elixir, with the one elixir skeletons, he will be the fourth skeleton back into the arena, and so that will be pretty cool. And I think the skeletons, I mean, they're always been a very good card. Uh, you can take out the mini Pekka, you can take out the musketeer, you can distract minions long enough for them to kill them just with one elixir. They do actually surprisingly good damage to tanks, to hog riders. They're a really good card, guys, and I expect to see their usage rate soar with this uh, change once again. So they used to be used all the time, and they really dropped off when they dropped them down to three. So we'll see what happens with this. And the last one, um, I don't think there's going to be time enough here to uh, play another one here. But the last one here is the Skeleton Army. Now, the Skeleton Army count has been decreased to 15 from 16. Massive change, right? They say, <laughs> I don't even know the understanding behind this and I think this their description here is a bit tongue-in-cheek uh, so they say a critical change to maintain the delicate balance of the skeleton equilibrium within the arena so I don't know about all that 15 skeletons instead of 16 I, maybe they they took one away from the army and they gave him to the one elixir skeleton so Ledoot he was he was with the skeleton uh, army but now he's he's back with uh, the, his 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 pals, the other three skeletons. So we'll see how that change affects. So that's it for the balance changes. They are going to be coming live on the 13th of February. So right before Valentine's Day. Do we love them? Do we hate them? You let me know. We'll see how this plays out. Um, stay tuned for another video coming here today. I'm going to do a video here on this deck right here. Uh, this uh, minor executioner. I've been loving it. It's been doing great for me in challenges. I've been killing it. Uh, so we're going to see how that plays out. And uh, we'll, we'll get you a video on that. But until then, 
I'm Lex. I hope you guys enjoyed the balance changes. Let me know what you think about it, the changes and how they're going to affect uh, your decks, your gameplay, or the overall arena. So until next time, I'm Lex, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Lex out.